In this scenario, I want to create a shadow where none existed before. And again, this is only really possible because the foreground character and the background room are separate layers in my video stack. The character was recorded in front of a green screen and that has been keyed out so that he appears to be over that background. And I want him to cast a shadow in that room. So I'm going to take a duplicate of his clip and place it in the stack behind him and slightly down and to the right, approximately where I want the shadow to fall. Now I'm going to take that intermediate clip and I'm going to turn the brightness all the way down on that clip so that it's completely black. Now I'm going to add some Gaussian blur to give a little bit more of the look of a soft shadow as opposed to a hard light shadow. The idea being that there are probably multiple lights in this room and shadows are a little bit less distinct in those scenarios. Now I tune down the opacity just a little bit so that it blends better with what's behind it and you have a shadow that moves and behaves exactly as and in sync with your original video clip. Now when you're dealing with more complicated areas when there's a lot more movement going on such as in this clip where there are runners running across it's the same basic principle it's just a little bit more difficult to get them lined up but you have a duplicate of the clip with the brightness turned down and finally the Gaussian blur and opacity and I manipulate that layer a little bit in 3D space to get the shadow to fall at the right angle. I do all of that within the video editor. Same thing goes for this clip where there's a phone falling and what I've done is taken a second phone below it and actually in this particular scenario I took a different take of that spinning phone to get a little bit different angle for that shadow then I turned down the brightness so it's completely black and added the Gaussian blur and opacity to get the effect that I wanted. Oh yeah,